if I'm not wrong, there may be other projects or even products that might offer the same kind of, you know, functionality that Flow IPC offers. Can you talk about why people should look at it, why they should consider Flow IPC, what advantage it has over others? The biggest competitor, I would say, is not something that offers what Flow IPC offers, but rather solutions that operate at a different level that are very elegant and simple to use. So I, for me, the best example is Google RPC or GRPC. Uh, it can be used in a network fashion, it's easy to set up, it uses protocol buffers, which people are familiar with. Uh, the thing is, it's very easy to set up and it's going to work. So a lot of people do that. Um, and you can throw your data in some JSON and not worry about it. And things will work and you can get them up to, get them into production very quickly, no problem. Uh, the issue is, uh, then ultimately you might end up with videos loading a little sluggishly or just your system behaving with a lot of latency. Then you begin to optimize as an organization and then you find that it's not easy because it's not one pain point, it's just the fact that this is how you're doing everything because it's so simple, it's so straightforward and it's so elegant from a high level architectural level. So. Uh, so in that sense, uh, something Flow IPC or something like Flow IPC is something that you can use to even speed up gRPC by removing the copying from that layer of it. Uh, so that's probably the main thing I would say as far as alternative approaches. Now, as far as um, existing things that might do what Flow IPC does, uh, that's definitely something I looked at uh, recently after finishing it, especially. So back when I was, uh, I should say, we were starting this project, there really was not anything that I could find that was generally reusable. So at the time, there was nothing, but it seems like a couple of people got this, uh, some of the same ideas and worked on something similar. So the one that stands out to me is called Ice Oryx. Uh, and its focus is a little different, but it does some of the same things. Uh, it has its strengths. Uh, I would say Flow IPC compared to that, there's a couple of things it does arguably better. One is that it is probably easier to integrate. Uh, it's, uh, it's not a framework, uh, is how I look at it. It's something where you need to speed up this part, you need to do some IPC, you kind of just throw it in. It does not require a big overhaul uh, of how you set up your event loop and things of that nature. So I think that's one big strength. And the other thing is it's a little uh, in the weeds, but uh, as far as I know, we are the first people to have taken a commercial grade memory allocator called JE malloc, which is used in Meta and FreeBSD and lots of big things. And we actually made it uh, integrated with shared memory instead of regular memory. Uh, and I think that's very interesting technically and that can enable intense use of shared memory, which enables things to be very fast uh, in a way that I have not seen elsewhere. So that is a technical strength for sure.